Our story continues with the fourth adventurer, Gormar Honey Eye, a Nord from a small village in Skyrim who has struggled to find his place in the world. Despite a drinking problem in his youth, Gormar maintains a strong faith in the Nine Divines and has embarked on a quest to visit all the shrines and temples across Skyrim, hoping to find guidance and purpose in his life. Raised by his grandparents after his parents passed away when he was a child, Gormar's travels have turned him into a skilled hunter and a natural leader, and he has taken on a job to transport a shipment of furs and pelts to Dragonbridge. Although successful in his mission, Gormar still feels unfulfilled and searches for something more in his life. Even the lowest among us can rise to greatness. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I don't remember much, but I have a feeling that last night involved more skooma than any sane person should consume in a month. <laughs> Did I really sing Ragnar the Red again? Sorry about that. Now this is what I call a proper breakfast. If only my grandparents could see me now. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Could I trouble you for a refill of water, my friend? My liver needs a break. Of course. Yeah, mm hmm I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. With walking boots securely tied, a knapsack on your back. It's over hills and over dales. You'll cover tundra tracks. For you love to go a-rambling and feel the wind full in your face. Forgetting all about city life, it's the ruggedness you embrace. And as today's your birthday, best wishes I send to you. I hope that as you climb up that hill, you're blessed with a wonderful view. A friend. Well, if nothing else, at least I'm still alive to celebrate another year. I wonder who this friend is. I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Where is that lazy man? Does the presence of the guards here bother you? No! I openly welcome the presence of armed strangers who have no reason to care about any of us. Of course it bothers me. I'm sure it's only a matter of time until they seize our mill in the name of their war effort. Next thing you know, there'll be more guards, and then we'll lose our homes as well. This is just the start of it. Mark my words. Does your family own the lumber mill? My husband owns it. Barely. He'll lose it soon enough. He's behind on his loan payments, but he drinks all his money away just the same. Now we're deep in debt, penniless, and about to lose our sole source of income. Mm-hmm. I'm fairly certain you wandered into the wrong building, friend. Well, at least I didn't walk into a brothel this time. Progress.
You're going to try and sell me something? Well, I ain't interested. <laughs> All right, then. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it for you. Is your lumber selling better since the war started? <laughs> Damn right it has. Demand's never been so high. At least not since I built the new mill. How old is that stone bridge near the town? Hard to say. It's ancient. That much we know for sure. It was here long before the town itself. I just hope the bridge survives the war. It's the only place you can cross the Karth River for a long way in either direction. Could be if one side wants to keep the other from coming across. They might try to knock it down. Sounds like you're having some trouble with your wife. Her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. Uh-huh. Yes? What have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Let's see. What can I buy with the gold I have? By the Nine, why waste gold on something when I can just as easily make it myself? Until next time. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Ha! 
The warmth of the fire feels almost as good as a strong drink in the morning. I'll tell you what. There's nothing like a roaring fire and a warm drink to make you forget the cold. At least for a little while. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. If anyone asks, I meant to take the scenic route. I'm not one to shy away from a challenge, but maybe I should save my energy for my actual quest.
heard the view from the top of the mountain is breathtaking. This was not what I had in mind. I heard there's a party down at the bottom of this cliff. I just hope they have some really good mead down there. I don't always fall off cliffs, but when I do, I do it in style. Why didn't I just stay home with a hot cup of mead? I must have frozen to death on that mountain. Is this the afterlife? I've been searching for purpose. Could this be the answer I've been seeking? Could this be a vision from the divines? What do they want from me? Why is that alcove different from the others? Is it significant? presence here means. I have a feeling that the empty alcove and the book are somehow connected. Maybe the book holds the key to understanding the meaning of this vision.
What sorcery is this? How could the book have done this? <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about having a perfect copy of myself. It's almost like I'm staring into a mirror. Could this be the answer to my search for purpose? I must have been sleepwalking and stumbled upon this convenient campfire. So did the bandits find me and bring me here to roast me alive? Well, it is my birthday after all. <laughs> <laughs> 